Costly regulations. The problem, government regulations cost money. Jobs, productivity, and time. They are often politically motivated and oppressive. Often, they don't even achieve their stated goals. For example, environmental regulations against the coal industry. Coal equals roughly 40% of America's industry. It's reliable and cheap. The EPA regulations would increase electricity costs and increase prices of goods and services throughout the economy. It would put hundreds of thousands of workers out of productive jobs. All because someone doesn't like this stuff. Because they think fossil fuels are evil. Or do you think it's because they can control electricity? Maybe that too. I mean, they may have multiple motives. Because you get rid of coal. I mean, we're running on electricity here. If they cut me off right now, yeah. we're in the dark. Well, I recently heard um, there's actually the Institute for Energy Research, IER, who talks a lot about this stuff. They're really, really good. But they even talk about the possibility of if you really impose a lot of these regulations like they want to, that we could be exper experiencing brownouts and blackouts. I've heard that. A brownout is simply a kind term of a short-term blackout. Yeah. I actually used to live in the Philippines and we had brownouts. I don't know what was brown about it because the power just went out. Mm -hmm. And every day about the same time all of the generators around town would turn on and you'd hear engines running all day long and then at some time they'd turn the power back on. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's brown about it, the power was just out. Mm -hmm. But in other words if coal supplies 40% of our energy, we're not getting that from windmills. So in other words, they're talking about the real ramifications of Im implementing some of these policies. So everyone better go out and buy generators, but hey, that runs on fossil fuels too. Right. So the point is, is that there are costly regulations that at some point really do have very damaging effects on our lives. The solution, eliminate any government regulation that inhibits productivity and hurts people. Allow the free market to solve the problems. For example, this would be most environmental regulations. Get rid of them. Many financial regulations. Get rid of them. Barrier to entry licensing requirements for many industries, such as the, the young lady that came from Africa and she was raised uh, actually braiding her sister's hair over there and she came over here and wanted to braid people's hair for a little bit of money and the, the local you know, beauticians and whatnot, well, they got upset because they were going to steal some of her business. They required her to go to beauty school, essentially, complete something like a thousand hours of, of training, and that was going to cost a lot of money, and then they would license her to braid hair. But the problem was they don't even teach hair braiding at the beauty school. So the point is that there's a lot of barriers to entry that are oftentimes uh, regulations imposed by people who simply don't want competition. So get rid of that stuff. It doesn't mean you don't like clean air. It means you let the states deal with it or you know if you're somehow polluting my water or something like that well then I can take you to court. But in that case it's more of a property rights issue than a government overarching regulation.